We're going to be talking today about um, whether you've ever felt like you actually need one-on-one, -on -one, you need private coaching, um, and you don't need to be in a group. You might be feeling that um, you want to work with someone um, when you have an audition that could see your work, that could see what you're doing, what you're not doing, um, that when you have an audition that you could really have someone's attention on what you're choosing, on um, how you can go further, that someone that would really be able to look at you, look at your work and actually tell you what to do so that you're doing the right thing um, or whether they can tell you that you're doing the wrong thing. So I hear a lot of people say that, especially for auditions, they want to be able to have that coach that has time dedicated for you and that can actually help you navigate the audition, make your choices, learn your lines and, and really show up in your best possible way. And, and so maybe some of you have tried that and what I'm hearing often is that you may have trouble with that because of course one-on-one -on -one coaching is expensive, right? So if you need to invest in a private coach every single time you need to work or every single time you need to audition, that starts being expensive and you're not sure that the coach is always going to be there. So you may have tried that. You may have tried that also because you've done so many acting classes and you're still not really feeling great when you audition or even when you're on set, like there's some sort of stickiness or you're not feeling totally open. You might feel closed up or kind of tense when you're auditioning, especially when you're auditioning or when you're taping. And therefore, you're feeling like, well, I've done all the classes. I know how to act. I just need somewhere, someone to be there with me in the moment to help me through, to kind of see clearly, make the right choices, train the right, right way, and kind of say the lines the right way, right? And um, so it could be frustrating if you're not having the budget to hire an acting coach all the time. And if you've hired one-on-one -on -one acting coaches but that hasn't worked either or you're feeling maybe great in the moment in the audition and then whether you book or not you feel like the next audition you still need them that can be frustrating because then it's a big investment in time and money so what i would like to do today is to actually um reassure everyone that you do not need a one-on-one -on -one private acting coach in order to um, feel great when you act or in order for your career to move forward because I'm also seeing a lot of actors who's who have done a lot of acting classes and who are sometimes working with coaches but then there's always more that I, I'm hearing actors say oh yes I'm working with this acting coach but there's a better one and it's that person is more expensive and when I'll be working with that person and when they can have their eyes on my instrument and on the choices that I do then then things are going to unfold for me. Then I'm going to book. Then I'm going to feel great when I'm acting, right? Then then I'm going to be successful. And and actually what I would like to say is is I practically want to say that that it's that you shouldn't have a one-on-one -on -one coach or use a word that I never use which is to me it feels off. To me it feels wrong to need an acting coach because that that would be with you all the time because when you feel like you're needing an acting coach to be with you and to make those choices to help you through the audition process or to be on set, it means you're giving up on you and you're handing over your power to them. You're giving up on your capacity to be connected with yourself and to hear your truth and to hear your freedom. So if every time that I have a self tape, I feel that I need a coach to help me through my self-tape, it means I'm not relying on myself. It means I'm not trusting myself. It means I'm actually not even connecting with myself to go into my unique creativity. It means I'm trusting an external authority to know better than me and to tell me what to do. So what am I actually doing? I'm repeating the school system right there, right? I'm a student, I don't know, so there's always going to be someone better than me that knows and that's going to tell me what to do and I'm a good follower and I can do that. But that's not art, that's factory work, right? If you're an artist, what people are interested in, in you being an actor and telling a story, 
is for you to connect with your humanity, with what this means for you, with your specific choices, with how, how this is impacting your instrument, how the material is impacting your instrument. And that's what they want to see. They're not interested in you doing some version of what's right, of what a coach has analyzed from a script, right? You're, you're kind of, you're not, you won't do the scene completely wrong if you hire a coach. You'll kind of, you know, meet the beats and make the scene work. But that's not fulfilling for you and definitely not long term. And it's not impactful for an audience. When you, start, when you start changing the rules of the game is when you can show up so much like you, absolutely not caring about what other people would do or what big coaches would say on how, how to do a scene or how it must be done. Well, then you start showing up. Then you start connecting with your infinite creativity, with your uniqueness, with what is really hot about you, with what will make you really different with what will make them want you no matter if you fit the role or not, right? We have so many stories in our community where people go in for role A and they might not fit the role, but they won't walk away. The producers and the directors will snatch them and go, wait a minute, we're changing the role. We're giving you role B and maybe it's bigger. Maybe it's a, you know, will we write it for you? It might be a different gender, a different age, a different race, a different size, a different everything. This happens all the time in our community. If you stop trusting that there's a right way to do this and that there's an external authority out there like a coach, a one-on-one -on -one coach who could tell you how to do it, then inevitably you have to bring yourself to the table and yourself is actually what people are ready to pay the big bucks for. They're not ready to pay the big bucks for something that's good. They want great. They want the human right? That's what your role is, is to actually bring the human piece of the puzzle in the equation, right? You're the human piece of the puzzle on set. So if you're not really bringing your full human, your full hun unique, different, um, extraordinarily free and authentic human in the tape, in the audition room on set, but you're bringing someone else's perspective on how the scene should be done, you're not really bringing the full thing, right? And if you're not bringing the full thing, it's not great for you. It doesn't feel great for you. And it doesn't feel that impactful for the audience. It doesn't tell the story in, an, in a magnificent way, right? So, um, yeah, I want to make sure that you realize that if you feel that you are going to do great when you can finally depend on a big coach that has big clients, you're giving away your authority on yourself. You're giving away your power. You're giving away the trust that you have in you and you're not even gonna go in you. If you give the power and the authority to an external authority to tell you what to do, it means you're literally not connected. You're not connecting with your instrument, with how you want to show up to the part, with, with how it rings your bells, with, with what it makes you feel, unapologetically, not trying to do it right, not trying to make the scene work, just because it resonates for you, right? So again, if you've been feeling that what is missing in your mix is a private coach, a one-on-one -on -one great coach that has amazing clients. With him, I'm finally gonna book, or with her, I'm finally gonna book. I wanna make sure that you pay attention to that. That's a big red flag, right? Because what makes you book is you able to show up 100% free and 100% authentic. That doesn't mean confident, that doesn't mean strong, that doesn't mean I know how I'm gonna do the scene. It means, with everything, all the uncomfortable feelings, all the sticky ones, all the unsure ones, but with your heart fully on. Yeah, make sure you're connected to yourself. Make sure you do the work of actually going within and, and not stop believing that there's people out there that know better than you what you can bring to the table. You know what you can bring to the table. And if that's clogged because you've been conditioned to not trust yourself, you've been conditioned to disconnect from yourself, to do what's right all the time, then do that work of working through all the resistance, 
of removing that, of getting to your core, of getting to whom you really are, right? And then you'll know what choice to make. Then you'll know what it feels like to be free, without a doubt. You won't need any external authority to tell you if it's right or wrong. You'll know because you'll feel it, because you'll be connected to you. It's just because you're disconnected from you that you need someone else to tell you if it's good or bad. And the more you do that, the more disconnected from you you are. So it's a, a loop that takes you out. It's a loop that is taking you in the, in the direction that is away from you as an artist. And what we need from an artist is to be here, to be right there. Right? Like melting the resistance and waking up your instinct is what we do. If this resonates, if you're interested, if you're um, curious to find out how you can train without having telling you without having someone telling you what to do that's exactly the work we do so um, you can dm us you can download a free um, training in the link in the bio on instagram or in the about section on facebook where you'll have um, a training that's called stop trying to be a good actor so you have a chance at being great and that will definitely take you the first couple of steps um, you can sign up on our wait list or you can dm us right away and let us know um, let us know if this resonates, if you're interested to know more. Thank you guys. I hope this was meaningful to you. Bye.